Uh, all right, now uh, it is my great uh, privilege uh, to sort of bring the proceedings to an end. Uh, and of course, um, I will once again abuse my position as the chair here uh, to just spend a few minutes to uh, talk about a few general things. Uh, first of all, I would r really like to thank Axel once again uh, for his wonderful participation in the uh, conference. I think that you would have realized that I cannot in actual fact say more about uh, yesterday than what Axel summarized. Uh, I've worked out and I've timed him. Uh, there were roughly eight hours of deliberations and in exactly eight minutes uh, <laughs> Axel took the core out of it and he highlighted all the important things. Uh, I really think that was absolutely brilliant, Axel. And isn't it wonderful? Uh, one of the things that we as lawyers should be able to do is from a large amount of information, extract the core aspects and you've done that in such a great way. Thank you very much for that. Uh, <laughs> As far as uh, today's uh, presentations are concerned, uh, really uh, uh, I do not need to really add anything to what uh, Andreas, uh, Andrea said a few minutes ago. Uh, I'm also massively fascinated by the SE. Thank you for the overview there. Uh, the Korean perspectives, so interesting, as I said, also to show the differences, cultural di differences. And yes, Matthias, I agree with you. Uh, corporate culture, incredibly important. And whether or not there should be ways of regulating it or try to regulate it, of course, that's one of the things that uh, we have had some discussions about. Uh, uh. And then, of course, the liability of certification organizations. Uh, what a very interesting uh, approach uh, to solve certain problems and to find solutions. Uh, and I think we will have to work on a consistent uh, approach in that particular uh, area. And then, yes, the missing link in corporate governance. Uh, yeah, we will find them. I'm, I'm sure we will. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased that you said that they should be the reform uh, is required here. Uh, and I, I, I'm also really pleased that you've mentioned that we should take risks. <coughs> now, I, I, I would put it slightly differently. I would say we should keep an open mind. Uh, we should challenge. Uh, we should not, when people challenge the traditional views, start to get on the back foot and say, well, that cannot be. Shareholder primacy is what it is. How dare you challenge it? How dare you challenge it? How dare you say there's something like a corporate social responsibility duty? That is where we push the boundaries. That is how we develop the law. That is where we get others that will debate the issues. And we should do these rather more controversial uh, presentations and put our views out there, even though we know we wouldn't have all the answers. Nobody has got all the answers. If we had all the answers, there would not have been anything else to solve. And there's a lot of things to be solved. So uh, thank you for mentioning that. Keep an open mind. So uh, just then, finally, uh, once again, thanks to individuals. Uh, Axel, first of all, again, we've been working on this since February uh, this year. Uh, and uh, it's really been uh, fantastic uh, the way in which even when Axel was on holidays, I really irritated him with emails. I felt very bad and he stayed calm and I really appreciated the fact that, that he was so controlled in, 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 in not, not overreacting when I bothered him constantly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Absolutely, thank you very much. And then Alma uh, Pekmetchovic, uh, thank you very much, Alma, for assisting us at the late stage and uh, helping us out, uh, chairing the sessions. Uh, really, we appreciate it uh, very, very, very much. Uh, it's good to have uh, people like you in uh, the Butserius Law School, uh, and it is very important that um, we keep on uh, working on relationships. The Butserius Law School as such, of course, is core in this whole uh, uh, forum. 
if it wasn't for my connections with Axel and this particular school and with the president, uh, Katarina Bulivilke, which I know very well. Uh, she's also a recipient of the Annalisa Meyer Research Award. Uh, I'm not blowing our uh, own uh, uh, horns here, but we are the only two lawyers in the world that's got that Annalisa Meyer Research Award. All the other recipients of it are from other social disciplines. So we have a very special relationship, the two of us, even though her area of specialization is uh, family uh, law. And I would also like to uh, thank her uh, for the support for not only this particular uh, forum, but also her support for the exchange program that our university now have with this great law school. So thank uh, you very much. The organizers uh, of the uh, event, of course, I need to mention specific names, Miriam Jobst, uh, absolutely wonderful support that I got from her. Uh, we've been in touch uh, in September, I've spent almost a whole day with her, and since uh, the beginning of this week we've been in touch on a regular ba basis. Uh, Telka Zilman, also a very important person who assisted us the whole time. And then, of course, Iris Kessler. Iris, thank you very much for coming in at the late stage and helping us. Uh, so could I ask for all the individuals that we just keep them out? Uh, please allow me this opportunity also to thank my own university, Deakin University, for allowing me the opportunity to do these sort of things. There are not many universities in the world that will be so accommodating to allow me to spend up to two months in Germany per year to have international conferences held all over the world uh, and constantly uh, I assure them and I do that, that I carry out the name of Deakin University. But if I do not have the support of my direct bosses, if I do not have the support of my institution, this would not have been possible. So I really would like to put on record that I am very appreciative. Uh, in addition to the general support, they also allowed me to create a center, the center for comparative corporate governance in which I have got additional funds to sponsor things like this which enhances uh, and complements my uh, Annalisa Meyer Research Award. And that brings me to the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation, of course. I've been an Alexander von Humboldt scholar since 1995. Uh, I've been in Germany in total for about two and a half years, almost th three years now. Uh, and if it wasn't for my original close relationships with uh, Ingo Zenger and the University of Münster, I would not have been nominated. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation that invested in me and uh, I have tried everything possible not to disappoint them and I think by the end of the five years uh, I would have quite a bit to show them and uh, I have still I've still got a lot I think to offer to them and will keep my close relationships with the Alexander von Humboldt for their gener generous uh, sponsorships uh, and once you are in the family of the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation you are there forever so the advantage is that you can forever apply apply for up to three months periods to come to Germany and I would encourage any of the young academics or any of the other academics if you want to apply for uh, scholarships, your students, please get in touch with me. Uh, I am also, uh, because of my Annalisa My Research Award, I can also nominate people for higher, longer term uh, involvements. It's only uh, after you got a special award that you've got the ability to nominate people for longer periods and I've already had discussions with some individuals for collaboration uh, with me over the next uh, five years or so. So please, if you are interested, let me know. Uh, then he, it brings me to the presenters. Uh, I mean, thank you very, very, very much for the time that you've put into this, for the effort, for, I mean, just the wonderful PowerPoint slides that you've uh, had here, the, the great presentations, the stimulating debates. Uh, I, I, really, I, I really enjoyed this tremendously. Uh, I find it so stimulating and I, I go back from these sort of things with new energy, uh, with new ideas, and I know that all of you are also very stimulated, but it's because you have put in uh, such a time and effort and really I think you could give yourself a hand here. <laughs> um, 
Then, of course, we also had a few wonderful uh, delegates here or participants that uh, joined us. Uh, it was really good that you could uh, participate in uh, the events, uh, th this particular forum. I hope that you've learned. Uh, I hope that, hope that you've seen that there could be very uh, collegial discussions, but sometimes the debates are also robust. We disagree with each other, and we should not shy away from that. We've got different views, we've got different opinions, and we should be able to express it. Uh, and we should be able to accept that uh, we need to agree to disagree at times, and I hope that you've learned uh, from uh, that. Uh, and then I think it's appropriate, uh, lastly, to really mention Professor Karsten Schmidt again. Uh, what a privilege for all of us that, 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 that you've spent two days with us. Uh, it's really absolutely fantastic, and I think we all see it as a privilege that we could spend time with a person of your absolutely high st uh, uh, standing uh, and scholarship over so many years, and who served as an example for many of us and will still be serving as an example for many years. Thank you very much. <laughs> and at that very high note, I now uh, conclude uh, the forum and close it. Thank you. <laughs>